Hi, welcome to another Feature in 5. My name is Pete Fletcher, and joining me today to talk about cloud-native storage in vSAN 7 is Miles Gray. Miles, welcome. Thank you, Pete. Miles, I understand you have a really great demo that goes through some of the new features here that uh, take advantage of file services in vSAN 7. Right. Yeah, I guess we'll just get straight into it because there's a lot to cover here. So um, I'm going to start off by deploying an application to Kubernetes. So this one's called Space Odyssey. It's a little application that I wrote that has three pods that interact with one persistent volume. So what we're going to demonstrate here is uh, the read, write, many support in CNS uh, via, uh, via vSAN file services. So vSAN file services uh, allows you to provision NFS shares to vSAN. Um, and with CNS, we've expanded on that functionality and allowed it to be fully automated as well. So I've deployed an application here and it deploys three pods and one persistent volume claim. So it's going to ask for a rewrite many volume and then it will automatically create a vSAN file services share and provision it out for us. So you can see they're all in a container creating state at the minute. So if we go into the recent tasks view in vCenter here, we expand that. You can see that the reconfigure vSAN file share task is there, so it's creating a file share. And if we refresh our labels, you can see that we've got the space odyssey label here. So if I click on that, it'll filter out everything in that namespace. So there's just the one volume. And if I expand the details, you can see that it's mounted into front tail, Hal, and John. So three pods are mounting this singular volume. We also pull in stuff like metadata around naming, labels, and that kind of thing from Kubernetes into the vSphere UI as well. So if we go into the basics here, you can see that there's a file volume. Uh, this is the file share ID. Here's the data store that it lives on. This is the storage policy applied. Is it compliant with the storage policy? And what is the health status of that file share? Obviously, this takes a few minutes to populate, and we've just created it. So if we go into the vSAN file services configuration view here, and we scroll down to the bottom, you can see that we've got the file services share section. And there, there is this container volume that's been created. You can tell that denoted by the little container icon that's on the, the left-hand side here. So you can tell the difference between your container volumes and your non-container volumes as well. So we've created this container volume. Let's, let's prove that it actually works. So we've deployed this Blue Danube app. So if we go to that URL, so we go in here and we type blue and we hit enter, you can see Okay, so John and Hal are both writing into this one persistent volume claim at the same time. So both mounted in a read-write fashion. So let's take this a step further and we'll prove that this works. So we'll delete the Hal pod. We'll just make sure it's gone. So you can see, yeah, we've just got front tail and John left. And if we go back into our application here and we scroll down to the bottom, you can see that we've just got this John one saying, open the pod bay doors now. So Hal doesn't exist anymore. We can take this a step further so if we delete the application, obviously we get an error because we already deleted the how pod, but that's expected. And if we go in and we refresh this, you can see that the application is gone because we deleted the application. But the interesting part is if we go into vSphere and we refresh, you can see that it's cleaned up after itself. So it's deleted the file services share because it's, it knows it's no longer in use by any pods or any, uh, there's no retention policy around it. So it cleans up after itself. So if we go into the monitor tab here, we scroll down to the bottom into our container volumes view section again, and we add the same filter that we had before. So we add a label filter for that app. You can see that Space Odyssey isn't in there. So we've got full lifecycle management automated through CNS using vSAN file services in vSAN 7. Wow, I like that. So a few a few observations. Uh, one, I love the Space Odyssey reference. That's great. Uh, two, I love the fact that the the vCenter administrator still has full operational control, you know, uh, governance over their environment. But the developers also have the liberty to create, uh, you know, containers as they need, and then the lifecycle management is already taken for, taken taken care of for them. So this is pretty exciting. Uh, this video and more can be found on storagehub.vmware.com. Thanks, Miles.